I've always wanted to use that spare monitor I had lying around to create something cool. So, when I stumbled upon this awesome kitchen TV project, I immediately set to work. This kitchen TV has live streams of several news channels as well as music channels. I even added in a live subscriber count of PewDiePie vs T-Series so that I'm always up to date. You also get a live feed of local and international news as well as a huge digital clock. This kitchen TV uses very little electricity as it is powered by the Raspberry Pi 3. Let's have a look at how you can make one for yourself. First, you have to download and install Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi. Then, go to this link and follow the steps listed to install Apache and PHP on your Pi. Once that's done, use this command to open the HTML directory. You can then clone the Kitchen TV project from GitHub to that directory. And it's as simple as that. Now, find the IP address of your Pi by opening a terminal and typing in this command. After that, simply open the browser and navigate to that IP address. Your kitchen TV is now up and running. Unfortunately, the weather bar does not work anymore, so hopefully it will be fixed when the project is updated. The YouTube stream will also not be working the first time, but don't panic, we just need to open the HTML directory again and edit the config file. Just find a live stream that you like and copy the last part of the URL. Then paste it in the config file. You can thus add in any live stream that you wish to and save it. These live streams will appear at the bottom of your kitchen TV and you can click on one to change channels. I saved a link to the Pi's IP address on the Raspbian home screen and left a wireless mouse plugged in. The kitchen TV is now fully functional and easy to control. Thank you for watching Dialpixel. Subscribe for more content like this. If you have any question, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and to share this video if you found it useful. And as always guys, keep dialing pixels.